Good morning, it's uh, Sunday, June the 10th at 6.30. Me and Goober's already on the trail, detail. <clears throat> it's looking like rain today. Uh, so we got up early, got our tents packed up while it was still dry, hit the trail. The only thing about hiking today in the rain is we are in Pennsylvania. And put a little, little moisture on these rocks and they get bad slick. So that's what we're dealing with. We're gonna slow down, take our time, try to get through them. Goober's done pretty good the last two days hiking. We got 14 miles the first day and 17.1 yesterday. I don't know what we'll get today. We kind of just can play it by ear. But <clears throat> if, you, uh, if you're looking for somewhere to go out and have a nice hike and enjoy yourself, I'd say avoid Pennsylvania for several reasons. One, of course, the rocks. Two's rattlesnakes. Three bears. Four is really ain't nothing to look at but your feet. You stay at home, look at your feet. So, my advice is find somewhere with some good views and some nice trails. Anyway, we are headed. Stayed at Bake Oven Knob Shelter last night. Tended, we didn't stay in the shelter. And, uh, right now we're headed for the next shelter. We're gonna sit down there and eat breakfast. So about six miles away, I think. That's where we're headed. down the hill come across the cross the road here just around Palmerton and head back up the mountain we're gonna try to get another uh, about another 10 miles in rainy day slippery rocks it's a good Sunday to be laying around the house watching TV Slip sliding down the mountain this morning. <clears throat> uh, trying to get to our next stop. Back uh, about ten more miles, I think, where we're, where we're trying to get for the day. That'll leave us about a ten-mile day in the wind gap for tomorrow. We're gonna get a room there. We're not going zero. We're gonna gonna get a room. Do our laundry, do a little resupply, and push back out. We'll be headed for uh, Delaware Water Gap and then into New Jersey. New Jersey. So, pretty much the plan right now. Just 
Got to get through today without busting our tail on these slip rocks. Crossing the Lehigh River right here, it's north of Palmerton. Rainy Sunday afternoon. Probably some good smallmouth fishing in that river, I would guess. I don't know. Looks kind of shallow and rocky in this area. I don't know if that's the way it all, it, all of it is. But. Climbing up out of Lehigh Gap. We just crossed that bridge about 15 minutes ago. And uh, we had a 900 foot climb. I don't know how high we are now, but we still got a climb to go. Some detail up the rocks back there behind. Slippery and wet today. We're gonna get it done. Let's see what else, we, this is what we got. Gonna climb on up there. Go ahead. Go. We're not hiking anymore. We are now mountain climbing, rock climbing. There's Goob's head sticking out from behind the rock over there. See the white blaze where he's at. Another white blaze right there. Another one right here. Man, they threw it at us in here. One slip right here, I mean, it would be a bad day. Throw the rain in here on top of it. Detail coming around. See the white blazes going up that way. Go over here. Matter of fact, all the way over there. Well, we just got our first training for the White Mountains. We climbed over uh, Blue Mountain Ridge, just north of the city of Palmerton. Uh, it's pretty much a boulder scramble rock climb. I mean, normally rock climbers don't wear 40 pound backpacks, but I guess they feel the need for hikers to get a little rock climbing in, which that's all good. A little practice for the upcoming challenges. 
So you gotta cross that without anybody falling, getting hurt. Uh, right now we're on the ridge above Palmerton. We got about an eight and a, mile, eight and a half mile hike to where we plan to camp tonight. Hiking through pretty much a wasteland left over from uh, an environmental disaster several decades ago. Really no drinkable water in this section. So back uh, the last shelter we packed out, packed out an extra four liters of water to use for this evening and in the morning. And tomorrow, like I said, we're gonna, we're gonna get up and do a pretty easy 10 mile hike in the wind gap. At that point, I've been talking to Goober. I'm gonna try to see about maybe getting to an outfitter and uh, looking at him a pair of boots or something. I just, I don't know, he loves his shoes. He wants to keep wearing them, but I'm gonna make a call, but we probably need to look at the shoes pretty hard as to what's been the issue with his ankle. Cause there's already, of course my ankles bothered me. Also, Rocks, Pennsylvania, we probably couldn't have picked a worse place for him to get back on the trail than where he got back on the trail. But that's all said and done. Now we just gotta do, do what we can do in our control to see that we make it the rest of the way. So, we're gonna look at the shoes. We'll try to find an outfitter in the area and maybe go try on some boots, something with a little more support coming up the back side of his heel. Thinking maybe that may help solve the issue. I just know, you know, I was having foot issues when I got a new pair, new pair of boots. It made all the difference in my hike. So I'm hoping that'll be the same for him. We'll we'll send the shoes he's got. If he, if he, we find some boots, we'll send his shoes he's got home. He can wear them. He can wear them up and down the street. They're nice. So. Just don't think it's gonna get him to Maine. Wasn't long after we switched over to those shoes that he started having problems. Any last thought on that? He's still hiking, he's actually in front of us. So, hadn't slowed him down. It's just a precautionary thing. All right, let's get on with the camp. Not real sure what that is down there. But uh, it's in Farmington, kind of, uh, I don't know if it's some kind of factory or what. But that, once you look at that ridge over there on the other side, it ain't got any vegetation on it. I'm assuming that's what this one looked like at one time. Runs all the way up through there. No vegetation. I don't know what they dumped out here, but it killed everything. Zinc, I think it was zinc. That may be some kind of zinc processing plant. I don't know. Looks like coal down there. They got spread out on the ground, though. Who knows? Definitely not drinking any runoff off that place. <laughs> 